on this job I've just been asked to paper this feature wall the chimney breast what I've done is I've sanded round the top and put some emulsion across the top to neaten the edge for when the paper sits onto the ceiling this is the paper that I'm putting up this is the, uh, the actual make art house um, again make sure all your batch numbers are the same uh, and the, the pattern number you can see the it's a drop pattern 26 centimeters repeat and then the soaking time on this one is 10 minutes yeah. so I'll just show you how you cut and measure your lengths but well, first of all you need to find the center of your fireplace and plumb a line down sometimes you offset the line and so it's not in the center but that it always depends on the pattern double check your pattern first to see where it lies on the wall and then that will determine whether you go from the center or you offset it by half on this paper it's not going to matter too much where I have the cut against the ceiling because I think wherever it goes we're going to end up going through the flower so what you want to do measure the length of your wall and my first two pieces are six foot five inches so on the six foot mark I just bend it back making sure everything's nice and straight and measure your five inches That's your first length. <coughs> and usually what you do with a drop pattern is you work two rolls at the same time and so the next length will be coming off your next roll. It usually saves on waste and paper. So taking your next length and holding the corner at the top find where your pattern sits where it repeats so I know my pattern's there now so holding the corner holding the edge where the other top of the paper is you can just take it across and that's it. the pattern repeat on the drop Sure everything's in line. Pull the other one over. That's the first two pieces cut. That's all I'm going to cut for this because the next two pieces going around the sides are nine foot. So I'll cut them once I pull these up. So now what you want to do, and I, I do this by habit. Mark out all the tops of the paper. Just a little bit to trim off that one. It's important to keep the bench nice and straight. So when you're cutting, every, every cut is nice and straight. Taking them two lengths, roll them back on themselves. And this just takes the memory out of the paper folded the other way. So now when you fold it out, roll it out, it doesn't roll back on you. So 
what you can do there now is paste your first two lengths, let them soak for 10 minutes and put them up, one on either side of the line, working off that. So that's the timer up on the paper. Taking your first piece, following your plumb line that you've put on. Now again, don't put it all onto the wall straight away, just find your plumb line, leaving enough overlap to cut off. Once you're happy with the plumb line, Use your paper hanging brush from side to side. Making sure you don't get any paste on the front of it. And once you're satisfied with that, taking your scissors, Using the back of your scissors, mark along the top of the ceiling. And that should leave a line on the back of the paper which you can follow. Wiping off the paste on the ceiling. Just wipe any bubbles out. the bottom bed. Again, first of all, see if it will mark with your scissors. decent line that you can follow. You can use your scissors and cut along that. It's not too easy to see on the front so I'll have a look at the back. You can use a razor blade sometimes, but if you have a tendency to tear the paper and they don't leave a neat finish, I prefer scissors. It might take a little bit longer, but you end up with a neater edge. Pasted two lengths, I can go straight with my next length. This 
sure you've always got your cloth with you. Second row. Again, not allowing it to drop onto the uh, floor. Allow it to drop onto your foot so you break it strong. Not putting the paper all on the wall. Find your pattern where it matches. Quite a thin paper this one, so buckles on you a little bit. Not too bad. You're better off having your pattern matching at eye level than right up here and it not matching here. If you find it's slightly out, always match it at eye level. Why it's very important to get your soaking time right so every length is, is matching correctly. That's not bad at all. Right? Ice paper for hiding the joints as well. Uh, Paste off the ceiling.
make sure your paper is nicely butt up and not overlapping. And then just once you're satisfied with it, just leave it alone. Um, it always looks funny when it's drying out. You've got to just look at it when it's dry. Okay, so the joint is just in the centre there. This is a really good paper to hide the joint. So that was the, the actual pattern match. You can possibly just see the joint there. So that's not too bad at all, that. Sometimes the papers can be slightly off. But that's not too bad. Especially when you go for... Yep. Yeah. across the edge of the fireplace nice and neat and I'll show you across the top of the ceiling next piece ready. Now, it might be a bit difficult to see what I'm doing here but you get the idea. So releasing your paper so it doesn't rip out your hands. Find your match with not putting all the paper on the wall just where you've matched it. Always try and make sure it's matched more in the centre than anywhere else. It's not too bad. And when you're satisfied, you can use your paper and your brush to spread it out. And what you need to do on this top corner. You need to make a few relief cuts because it's a bull nose and then just stick that piece around the corner onto the wall and if your paste is the right thickness it should be fine that and then what you can do is finish off bringing your piece of paper down Working around this area, release your paper. Be careful when you release this because because it's tucked around the side, it can rip. Make sure it's nicely butt up, and then finding the corners of where you need to make your cuts. that's going to be waste there so I'm going to just trim that off so it actually goes around the cupboard here and around the skirting so again making some relief cuts on the corners Now the unit here goes round, so finding halfway between the wood, cut along to the edge, and then 
two little cuts to either side. And that should just allow you now I'm going to take some of that waste off. So it only tucks round about two inches on that bit there. So I'm just going to get rid of that waste. Now coming back to this corner. So what you want to do is usually working from round about the centre. Let your paper come round. Now what you usually find is they're never true. And you usually have to plumb this line, this next length here, to keep it straight depending on what wall you're on. But because this is a fireplace and I'm losing the pattern into this corner now, there's no need to plumb it really because you'll never see round this corner. What I'll do is I'll give you a quick look at that and you can see where my cuts have been and then I'll show you trimming off around that bottom piece. So that's the cut on the corner you need to do. So then you can get this piece to come and sit round and then at the bottom it's a lot more difficult there was a relief cut there to allow it to come round and then there's another relief cut down here to allow it to sit into the skirting board there's a relief cut there to allow it to go around the corner there's another relief cut being put in here so then it sits round. So I've just got to trim off the paper there now. Right, making sure there's no bubbles. Pattern's nicely put up. Just start marking your paper round. It's not easy marking and cutting paper, there's different ways to do it. So I'm going to cut down the back of the paper there because I can follow the line nice and neat. Um, there's no need to put any pencil marks on this one. Trying to not rip the corner there, so I'm just going to I can just not see that going up there. So You want to wipe paste off things before you use your paper hanging brush. Otherwise you'll get your brush covered in the paste. And then you'll be wiping it all over your paper.
Okay, that's basically it. I'll show you the finished job now.